Hey everybody, it's Aunt Jeanette Lene, and I'm back with another beat. So today I'm going to talk about how I use splice to get the sounds for this lo-fi beat. So let's go ahead and get into that. So for this beat, I went ahead and just used some samples that I got from splice. And if you guys don't know what splice is, it's a website that allows you to use a whole ton of sound samples, even rent to own VSTs, uh, just for like a subscription online. I'm not an affiliate in any way, but I highly recommend checking it out. Like, not only can you get sounds from there, but you can go ahead and sync your DAW to it, so that way you can have all of your files saved onto a cloud. And then it also has a collaboration feature. I went ahead and used a loop that I found on Splice, and it looks like this sound was created from 3AM Lo-Fi, and it's uh, one of the melodic loops that I found, and this is what the sample sounds like originally. So for this part, I went ahead and converted the audio file into MIDI and just moved around some of the notes just a bit and put in some additional effects like final distortion and a little bit of auto filter to give it that ambient kind of lower tone vibe. So this next piece I'm really proud of. It's the first wave table that I made on Ableton. So I just put two basic shapes, some oscillators on there, and mess with the LFO just a bit to get this nice little ambient pad. And then of course I just added in some drums. So for the actual bass line of this song, I actually played this on the MIDI controller. Uh, kind of just followed the melody that was on uh, the original clip from Splice. So this is how it went. some pretty simple hi-hats to the song. Not a lot to it, I just pretty much put it on every beat. Pretty much sound like this. Super simple. But I did use a bit of a cheat sheet on a wood percussion that I added. So by itself, it sounds like this. Just a simple knock. But I went ahead and used Beat Repeat and had it trigger a few different variations. So I put the variation up to 5 and um, kind of tampered with the decay and the intervals just a bit and used a filter. So this is what it sounds like with the effects. And all together, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> like, I didn't have to draw in any of those extra rolls. So, I highly encourage just using any of the audio effects that you have, any MIDI effects like ARPs. It does wonders and cuts your production time like in half. 
All right, so that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching.